Well, let me throw some Florida water on these hands. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in ring zodiac signs of birthday. Ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing you a consultation. What that consists of. For the lot of time of the reading, you can ask me as many questions as you like. I just say stay away from the Orisha question and the ancestor question. There's separate readings for them now. Okay. All right. And I don't know if you just seen my last live, but uh, you get your reading with the magical fan. This magical fan is still running. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just did a live. I turned the bitch all the way up to five. Then I hit the button and turned it off. Then I thought it would be done because it ain't hooked to no power. So then I pressed the bitch again and came back on. So this is a magical fan here. Okay, all right. It does look good. <laughs> right. It looks good for that. Yeah, right. the presence of the Lord is here. All right, so I'm taking the liberty of shuffling your card. Say your first name or whatever it is you would like me to call you so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. Before we get started, uh, somebody is really talking about going fast in a car at nighttime. They saying uh, like somebody was street racing, either a car or motorcycle, but there's street racing involved or driving fast at night because uh, they focus on the wheels and lights on the wheels or rims shining with the light on them. They just said, could you stop racing at night? Or if you know somebody who's racing their cars at night, could you tell them to stop just for a month? Yeah, that's probably me. What? You drive a race car? I don't be, I don't know. I don't be racing. It's just that I, 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 I don't know. It's something about when I'm driving home after work at night and cars get on the side of me, I, I don't know. 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 Stop it, cause you get you you liable to uh, merge merge with another car or a tree. You feeling me? Yeah, yeah. Stop it. The, the the spirit coming to me telling me your car going too fast. Stop it. Okay, okay. Take your damn time. You off work. This your relax time. Put on you some music. Scroll, just scroll up your Instagram or TikTok. Just wipe swipe the finger and listen to it on the audio. You ain't gotta be paying attention. Take your time. Relax. Don't go too fast. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so what's your first question? Okay, my first question is kind of deep. Um, my father died, you know, back in 2020, and there's a lot of questions around his death, and I was just, I wanted to ask Spirit, was he murdered? Ah, uh, shit. You know, I ain't did one of these readings in about two months. People asking, okay, let's see. So that's somewhat an I'm ancestor. Sorry. <laughs> That's somewhat an ancestor question, and I don't like to do these, but I'm trying to see can I can I get around it for you. Uh, uh, I'm seeing the light come from. I'm seeing the ground open. It's a light coming up, like a glowy halogen light, not like a light from the sun. But you know, if you got if you're a YouTuber, you got these little lights. They just they fuzzy how. Okay, never mind. Uh, whoever coming back was this man murdered on the live intentionally. Spirit said reflection. Spirit said persistence. And spirit said communication. His ex-girlfriend had something to do with this, and they saying that uh, it, it, the ex, the the ex-wife, ex-girlfriend put the energy out there for him to be unalive. That's exactly what I thought. That's how I felt. Yeah, they, yeah, they said twin flame. I thought they said reflection. They say, man, say what I say. So twin flame, persistence, communication. She kept egging this on to the point where whoever done this did it as her behest. Now, if I'm not going to implicate this woman in the murder. She, her conversation led to it. But yes, he was unalive intentionally. Okay. 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 That answers a lot of other questions I had about that. But okay, so I just know my I guess the confirmation hits harder than I thought it would, but it's just like I just knew in my spirit, I just knew in my heart that, that she had something to do with it. Is she still around, y'all? Well, we just um, finalized this um, court hearing, and she pretty much got just about everything. She got his house, she got his property, and she got a nice chunk of his money. So and she was, and she was, 
and she was talking his downfall and she led yeah. to somebody being upset with him and doing something to him. Good Lord. That sounds about right. So now, why is he saying he needed to take his shoes off? Why the key said he keep he it, it's something? Cause I just had to take my shoes off, and it's like my feet weren't happy. He like I take my damn shoes off. I want to take my shoes off. So did they did they find him near water? His feet was wet, or what's going on with his feet? I, 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 So they poisoned him then. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I felt that that was what it was. Yeah, because it, it, so, so listen to me good. Now, I don't like jumping into dead people's body and reliving their moments, but since you, that's why I say certain questions got to be asked a certain way with me. I'm going to, you're the last person I'm going to do this for, I promise. But he is saying, like, his feet was so, he just, only thing he would think about in that moment, because he did mention poison was he wanted to take off his shoe. He, he just he just felt like his feet was on fire, like he needed to take off his shoes, like his feet was uncomfortable. So uh -huh. that's why I was like, was he in water or something? And they found him like his shoes got wet, mud, boots. But yeah, it pulled, the blood pulled till his feet and that's what it was. So that, so it's all about his feet, but yeah. Some some energy is telling me about the throat closing up. Uh, how can you? How can she move away from this energy, knowing that she can't do nothing? What say y'all? Look in the mirror and choose peace. Why she need to choose peace? Look in the mirror and choose peace. See the other person's point of view, and peace offering. Uh, evidently, they just saying kind of you need to forgive yourself for not stepping in when you should have. So that's the big issue. You knew when, how, and you should have stopped this or you shouldn't have let it go on or you could have done something. And every spirit I'm here, uh -huh. say what now? I say, yeah, I felt like I should have did more, but I was, I guess I was scared because it was, I felt like I had to fight him in order to fight whatever was happening. I, I don't know. Well, sometimes we know what's best. We know better for our parents than they know for themselves. They raised us. But these cards are saying you need to look in the mirror and choose peace. See the other person's point of view and peace offering. These are two. Look at yourself and find peace. So it happened. It's a done deal. You didn't stop it. You couldn't stop it. You couldn't imagine stopping it. Let it go. Move on. The deed is done. No evidence can be found. Go on with your life. He forgive you. Go on with your life. That's how you get over this. It is what it is. Okay. Okay. Next question. Um, how can, um, Eric, how can I better protect my energy when dealing with people, you know, whether in the home or outside, in the workplace? Mm-hmm. Spirit, how can she... I got you. Spirit, how can she better protect her energy when dealing with any kind of negative energy coming her way? Spirit said positive change. Go now. Okay, I was going to say, don't tell that woman to move. Positive change, go now. And spiritual laws of attraction. The problem is the energy that's fucking with you is the energy that don't want you there. They don't want you at that job anymore. Find something else to do. They don't want you in that house or that apartment no more. Look at moving somewhere serious. There is no way to protect you from this energy because the universe is saying they're making you uncomfortable so you can leave that area. So where about do you live? I live in Vegas. Well, uh, well right now I'm staying with my mom. Okay. You staying with your mom. Huh? Your dad had a fucked up breakup, right? I'm assuming. Well, were, the weird thing was they were actually trying to get back together when he passed. There we go. Yeah. Positive change. Go now. Spiritual laws of attraction. The energy is not yours. You need to, I'm sorry, you gotta get away from mom. Not saying mom is a bad influence, 
but your heart, you're holding on to mom's energy. And the universe is saying, walk your own path. Your mom's energy is a constant reminder of dad. How are you gonna forgive yourself seeing what mom going through? Uh, hoping and wishing what mom could have got, y'all, they could have got back together. You see what they're telling you? Yeah. You gotta move on. It's time to leave that next mom. It is what it is. That's all they saying. Positive change, go now. Spiritual laws of attraction. Your destiny is somewhere else and the universe is gonna continue to make you uncomfortable right there because you're living out your parents' energy, not your life. Spirit, what's going on with this depressive energy? I ain't gonna call it depression. I just think you're just not doing nothing right now. Let's not claim that shit. Spirit, what's going on with this depressed energy? Spirit said, balance career at home life. I told her, let me double her. How can she deal with this depressed energy? Balance career at home life, take charge of the situation, just to follow back up. You can do it. Spirit saying you leave the area, you don't be depressed no more. You won't have the energy. Balance career and home life. That means home life. We just talked about home life in the last in the last portion, right? Yeah, yeah. Take charge of the situation. Again, time to leave. You can do it. Archangel Michael is saying, come on now, you can do it. Let's not. You're not depressed. You're just not living. Go ahead and cry. I bet you're ugly when you cry. I'm gonna pick at you. making you feel uncomfortable, like that's all. That's okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Because it's like, as soon as I went in there, I started feeling like that, and I was not, you know, feeling any type of way beforehand. I was fine, so I was just been working out there another. I get back in there, and it's like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, that's what So spirit ain't gonna tell you what you should be doing. You need to already have a plan, and then spirit can say is if that plan is gonna work. That's how it okay. works. Cause if I ask spirit what you should be doing, he'll tell you to open up a taco stand in Hawaii, knowing they don't eat yeah. tacos in Hawaii. Right. You know. Uh, so ask that question. What, what, gifts, should, what gifts that do I have that I can utilize? Okay. That I know that they are will be will help me in that direction. Spirit, what's her niche uh, in actions of a physical uh, gifts and stuff that allow her to... Ooh, there you go, Spirit. Spirit coming through. <sighs> what gifts she got that allow her to be our, our independent own boss? Spirit said, education and teacher. I know it. They showed me a bunch of old people. You taking care of old people or doing something for the senior citizens, the elderly, that type of stuff. Because they gave me the teacher card. Assisting, teach, educate. Uh, what up? Uh, Oshun energy, that's right. And then they said, follow your heart. So this is you taking care of the elderly or taking care of the mentally disabled. It's in that, that, that umbrella. You have a knack for caring for old people or caring for people in general. Okay. Now, piggybacking off of that, how, I mean, caring for them in, in what way? More like on a medical or like mental or spiritual, I mean. It was more on the assistant. Okay, okay. Yeah, what I seen was you like doing patty cake almost with an old white woman or just spending time with him, taking up time with him. Okay, okay. I'm trying to figure out well, why do I not like people like that? <laughs> that's your niche. That that's your niche. Maybe you ain't had no reason to like them. Maybe you were too busy, you know, worried about yourself and entertaining yourself, uh, self medication and all that stuff there. But under all of that, yeah, I can see a lot. Under all of that, right there. I know. I know you were gonna see that. I, I, I self medicate quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't wanna. Say, 
I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Uh, it's okay. I, I'm very transparent too. <laughs> all right. So uh, as soon as you slow down on the self medication, your your caring energy will come out. That's your hidden talent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm a real psychic. I'm telling you. I, you ain't got no fake one. Um, I, I know. I know. I know. Trust me. I know. When, when nobody else get my money. But <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait till I was actually prepared and actually had the money to do it. <laughs> I just wanted to do it for a long time. So, you know, thank you again for your time. Mm hmm. That's, um, that's everything? No, I'm, I'm looking through my list because I just made a whole bunch of questions and I was like, I know I'm not going to get through them all, but I just wanted to make sure I hit the ones that were really playing me, you know? Mm hmm. Like, I know I have an issue with it with communicating, so especially like standing up for myself and I wanted to ask Spirit if they, if they had any advice for me in that area. Spirit, uh, again, I don't like to claim nothing. I know you may feel that way, but I don't claim that. So, Spirit, what's going on with her uh, standing up for herself? What energy does she need to bring to the table? so she can be more adamant about standing up for herself. I don't think you're a pushover. You're not giving me that energy. What energy, what she need to do to, <laughs> say what now? I, so I try not to be, but mm -hmm. I mean, in certain situations, I, I feel like I let things go right where I shouldn't be. That's all us, that's all us. Don't, don't, don't tell me no more about that problem now. That shit is dead, that's all us. Let's make spirit make it better. All right, spirit, what energy she need to bring to the table to, the, the, the buck up, so to say? Spirit said, come out. Okay, now Spirit said, come out the closet. Spirit said, persistent. Spirit said, you are seeing the situation accurate. Come out the closet, persistent. Just last shot on a bit. Curse, read a bitch and they write. Just, I don't care if they step on your toes. Bitch, I, my toes is important. You don't want me to walk? Say something crazy to them. Lash out. Spirit said, come out the closet. Like, come out of a bag. Just, just do it one or two people and carry that shit on. I mean, don't browbeat them, but get extreme with the shit to the point where they know you mad. Not like, I'll beat your ass. Don't say that, because bitch will challenge you. Uh, just get real adamant and spirit say that's all you need to do to get out of that. Once you see the people that's fucking with you cower down, or they may say, fuck you, hold that there. But once you see that that's all they they number talk, you'll begin to say, okay, I got this. Yeah, yeah, right. Come out the closet, persistence, and see, and you are seeing the situation after. Yeah, just, just be like an asshole when they see you. Don't talk to me. That's persistent part of it. I, I'm still upset. Don't talk to me. Well, you can get over that shit, but we family. I, no, I don't care. Don't talk to me. Get over it when I get over it. That's the energy they saying you need to bring. Okay, okay. I, I, I believe I can do that. I, I, I pull myself back a lot of times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I just be feeling like I don't want to be too far because I know how I can be or how I used to be. <laughs> Listen, I know I learned one thing when I had to start taking a uh, defending myself and my beliefs and when you when you talking about yourself and defending yourself you can never go too far. Spirit gonna let you take it as far as you need to. It's the other person who get in their feelings and take it too far and you're damn right in your right to defend yourself. You got me? We got to learn to look at things the proper way, not like the Christian Bible. Oh, turn the other cheek. No, I'm going to say what I say. You let me live in my truth. I'm not going to dog you out. But at the end of the day, if you, I'm going to take it as far as you take it. Because I got to listen to your bullshit and I can't jump bad. I get in my feelings and go on about my business. Bitch, you going to listen to me. If you don't want to listen, go on and get the fuck on. That's that energy. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. I hear you. I feel a little scared to do that sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, well, you're gonna stop being scared. Because you're gonna stop being scared to do it. You're gonna stop letting self medicating too much. And then you're gonna go and move out with mom and them, live your own damn life, be your own person, and get your peoples that you need. Uh, I probably won't be alone for the rest of my life. You know mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Only reason you're alone because you're at mama house. Her energy keeping you alone. Yeah. Well, yeah. I really want my own space. 
Right. You ain't gotta. You can get your own space. You ain't gotta move a, uh, to another state or a city. You need to move out the house so you can be you. That's all. We ain't saying move to, to, to Alaska. Get your own apartment. Get your own house. Ask spirit for the job. The the raise. Get your new job. Get your new this and move out and live your own damn life. Hell, mom can always come visit. It's a different energy when you let mom visit and she have us and she get on your nerves. She can go home. Versus you there, and you have to go get a hotel room or go boo up for the night to get some peace. Right. <laughs> I know how this shit go, man. I done been there. Yeah, I be thinking about shit. Just don't get me a room just so I can have a little peace. I'm a, I'm a real psychic now. I see what's going on. That's why I can feel for you. I know what you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm very nervous because I know. I know you're real, Jim. And um, I do have one more question. Go ahead. And this one is more of just me trying to find a way to better myself. Um, like the self medicating, I, I know that's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask Spirit if they had any, any suggestions for how to quit smoking cigarettes. That's my biggest problem. Uh, Spirit, what? I don't know how. Spirit, what's going on with the cigarette issue? Spirit said, Father, Husband, Brother, son, spirit said, nurture yourself. Spirit said, mother, wife, sister, daughter. Isn't that something? Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whew. Yep, yeah, now you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it said, nurture yourself. You only smoking to keep your damn nerves clean between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spirit said, he don't know, he don't know if you can stay, he can help you with this because you're still around her. If you get from around her, you won't be stressed and you can chew some bubble gum instead of going on the porch smoking and shit up. <laughs> He said, you, he said, the father, the father card, the mother card, and nurture yourself. Nurture yourself meaning you're trying to calm yourself down. You ain't going to quit, man, until you out of there. Everything change until you, everything will change when you come out the closet and start living for yourself. Then you can make those decisions. That's the bottom line. That's what spirit got to say. I wish I could give you a magical spell, but uh-uh. Spirit say you got to get away from the stress. And then you won't be inclined to self-medicate or smoke. Okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I know that I can smoke more when I stress. Good. Yeah, I'm always feeling stressed out. So who is who is Darren or or Dorel? Or do you smoke Dorels? I ain't seen a Dorel in a while, but who is Darren or Dorel? Dorel, that is one of my cousins on my father's side that I I I, I don't really mess with. That's anymore. That was another question I had was, did I, um, was I wrong for cutting off my father's side of the family because there's so much negative history between Yeah, because they, so, before you even ask that question, Spirit already wanted me to talk about Dorel. They saying Dorel is a cancer. Dorel is worse than the damn cigarette. So Dorel keeps up the shit, believe it or not. Wow. They saying Dorel cut him out. Just like you would cut out the, do the cigarettes, Dorel. Yeah. It, it should not be fucked with on your energy. Hey, cuz, how you doing, Dorel? Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I moved away from him. He's in Mississippi, but he did used to come around and I never heard it. It was an arky show, so that makes sense. That's all Spirit got for you. They just want you to stay oh. away from Dorel, so don't move back to Mississippi. And stop fucking with the real or think or don't have him move up there and think he cool. No. He is a cancer like a cigarette stick. Don't. Wow, okay. Alright, how you like your reading? I love it. Um, I'm ever so grateful and um everything. Thank you so much. Alright, now you but you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Yes. Yes, and you I am. and you still okay with this going on YouTube? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for allowing me to place it up there. It will be up there probably next week. Okay, okay. All right, thank you again, darling. You had your go. You too, thank you. All right. Everybody, uh, Spirit came in hot and heavy for her, but with a peaceful energy. She got the question she need. Uh, her father said, hey, let it go. There ain't nothing they can do about it. Yes, they took him out. Sad to say God rest his soul in whatever manner God need to rest it in. Uh, you don't, side note, you know sometimes we could be so into our parents and not saying she have a bad mama or bad daddy, 
but we could be so much as a kid at heart with our parents that we forget to live our own life and do our own thing and it stifles our personal growth and we go to taking narcotics and self-medicating and such on but spirit just want her to live her own life and stop blaming herself for not fixing dad or Stop blaming herself for mom not being happy. These people have their own life and they done live. So I'll leave it at that. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I am the bear and telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe. Uh huh? That's how you tripped out about this. I'm still fucked up, man. I, I'm still fucked up about it. I mean, I mean, it's still running, no power cord, no nothing. This got to be some crazy shit, man. Yeah, hey, it's, it's, it's that energy from this car running the thing. It's gonna hey, get off the line. That what it is? Yeah, man. But, but this shit, it ain't no battery operated. I turned it off and it turned back on. So whatever the hell energy on this thing from yesterday to today, it's crazy. So I, yeah, boy, I, I'm proud for that. I had a lamp that did me like that, bro. Oh yeah, stayed on. Yeah, stayed on, bro. And I would unscrew the bulb and I would go walk off and come back and it'll still be lit. I just move that whole motherfucking trash can. Yeah, I ain't gonna throw the fan away now. I, I mean, this is. It'll stop when it stop. I, I'm gonna let, set it around and let it see how many days it take to stop. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's because see, you comfortable with spirituality. Back then, I was just high, like what the hell going on? <laughs> I hear yeah, that. Had, had, had some I did a house blessing, so I gotta figure out what's going on. Uh, you might need to go ahead and get in contact with Uncle uh, and tell him to clear it up. That's probably you know I just lit a candle to him and I just fed him too, so I think that's why the fan. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? Cause I, it was, it was the fan was hooked to the computer, cause it's a USB fan. It was hooked to the computer when I did it. Offer gave him his eggs and and everything, and I cooked them some turkey wings. Bought them some turkey wings, played it right, set it up there with him, and then I just took it down and fed it to the dog outside. And uh, now the fan won't turn off. Oh yeah, you, I, you might be telling you, you he still require a little bit more front. Hey, either or, I mean, I. Boy, what I put up there, fruit and everything. So much fruit and that's done start flying around this bitch, so. Yeah, that's how they all was with uh, Obasla. Mm-hmm. So, I, I can't have too many damn flies around here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get this thing gonna start. And it's in the rain again, thunderstorm. Yeah, so, so the power was not not man, for like five hours. And and I didn't even, I had power. Damn, the fan was still running. The fan was running because the fan wasn't plugged up. Uh, my neighbors had no power on the whole street. The whole street didn't have no power. I didn't miss a beat. I was on live and, and watching Keegan fights. Yeah, yeah, late. So, I don't know. Maybe when the power go out unprotected, y'all come your ass down here and charge your phone, hang out, sleep, get some AC. Boy, hey, you heard what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so let's get on with this one right here. All right, so uh, as you know, direct energy reader don't need the uh, no birthday zodiac sign. Be open with the spirit, have fun. Ooh, there it is. Uh, uh, I ain't gotta give you and the wife no spill heavy like that. So I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna pray over the cards and y'all let me know uh, when I can cut them. So I'm finna pray on. Now have permission to cut your card. Yes, sir. All right. So you said the wife wanted one question. Yeah, yeah. She wanted to know if her little eyes were from the Ryder family. Okay, uh, Spirit, look into the Ryder family and see which, uh, see if the little eye attached to the Ryder family. Can we do that, Baron? I'm talking to you, Baron. Uh, he keeps saying fishing. He say they, they throwing nets in the ocean. Let me see what he's talking about. Uh, what, what are you trying to say? He says, detached from drama. He says, mother, wife, sister, daughter. And he says, see the truth about the children like family. So there is a, uh, like a, a, a water spirit from the, on their side. Mermaid, Lasserine, 
that energy is over on that side. So if your wife have that one, that's where it come from. The, Cause that side of the family has the water, the mermaid, and it's from the mama side of that family. Probably Aries Elite. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, I don't know if she hang around water or not, but they said it, it is a water because they cast your nets in the ocean on the boat nets fishing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So which one, just you don't mind me asking, which one uh, is, is contacting us so? Yeah, I, I did a I did a reading on her and Ezra the dance and Ezra the Freda, I believe. Okay, so that could be why I seen the picture of the circle in the in the corner, cause it, it showed me a circle like the sun, but then I saw a fishing net come from behind the sun, go in the water. So that's why I'm saying it's a, it's a, that's why I say it's a, it's a uh, water ocean because they on the boat and they throw in the net and I can see the net come from the, behind the, the glare of the sun and go in the water. So I don't know too much about Azuli Frida and Azuli Dante and all them now. I don't know personally. I haven't researched them so I can't say, but I just know there's an ocean loa from that side of the family through the mother's energy. But they did say, so before I go, they told her to say detach from drama, mother, wife, sister, daughter, and see the truth about the children. Uh, y'all got kids? Yep. Okay, so which one of the kids y'all gonna bring this to? Uh, the, the, the younger boys that we have are six or seven, so we, we hadn't brought it to them. So, two, so, so there's two kids, because in this card, there's two kids, and a woman is giving them a crystal. Understand what they said? Uh, 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 Okay, well there you go. So you, so they said, see the truth about the children, mother, detached from drama. Don't be scared to put your kids onto this, cause this is the generational energy. Okay. okay. So uh, that's that's just a, a a bonus to that one. All right. What's going on with you? Well, brother, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Uh, number one, should I move to Florida? Okay, let's see. Spirit, should he move to Florida? Spirit, damn. Spirit say go now. Spirit said. See the other person's point of view, and Spirit said, "Nurture yourself." Dang, who, who, is, who is, is the other person's point of view? My wife, because we've been we've been talking about. It. Yeah, you know that. You know that direct. <laughs> yeah, detail. They said, "Yeah, go now." See the other person's point of view and nurture yourself. She she helping you chase your dream. Yeah, that's what it that's, that's what it would appear to be because you know I fish on my on my channel and trying to get my tarot card together. Mm -hmm. and, Okay, there it is then. Come on. I just gotta find out where I can go and the cost of living. Man, listen, people say Florida is expensive. If you ain't if you trying to buy a house, it's expensive. But if you trying to get your nice little luxury apartment, it's affordable. That's all I'm trying to get a little something with maybe a view or two and just kick back and rebuild myself. Cause that's what I kept getting in my uh my read that I did on myself. It was like rebirth, uh, intuition, probably in dreams. It was, it was basically saying what you just said about moving there. I just, I wanted that, that answer from somebody I feel like is stronger than me. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, they I say, can. come on, go now. So start making the plans, man. I'm here. Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, what about speaking of my, my boy? Mind. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. You know what? You know what? My fan just stopped. You said that, boys. <laughs> Listen, man, the fan just cut off, man. You said once I get my reading, it's gonna stop, man. This <laughs> dog, this thing been on for two days, for a day. Hey, no lie, bro. I told my wife when she booked the reading for me. I said, dude, it happened that fast. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, the fan, the fan did cut off. But look at this shit right here. I'm I'm on camera with your card, but I can turn it back on. No power source, no battery. I'm finna turn it back on. It just turned back on. This creepy ass fan, you said it would go off and went off, but now it's back on. Yeah, that, that's how I see you. I see it. I see it. I see it. I Hey man, this shit, this is this is too creepy. What's the next question? Damn. I, I wanna I wanna know uh, let me see. I wanna know uh, as far as my tarot readings are concerned, brother. Like, am I am I making the right moves? 
spirit. Is it in his best interest to become a tarot reader? Will he be financially stable doing this? Spirit said, look in the mirror and choose peace. Spirit said, find the blessing in your current situation. And Spirit said, work your magic. Stop down yourself. And man, I like my magic fan. <laughs> yeah, Lee, that's 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 the okay, brother. I, I I got one that's gonna be heavy, and I, I need I need some clarity on because uh, me and the wife, of course, you know, we we actually are in that separation stage, right? Okay. And I keep getting reading. Well, we keep getting reading when I do them. Just say, spirit wants us to separate because we are too. We are like in spiritual warfare because we are too strong together. Correct. Spirit, is it true that the reason why they need to separate because they in spiritual warfare fighting each other, the opposing energy? Spirit said freedom. Spirit said let it go. Oh my. Spirit said yes. Freedom, let it go, yes. Now how the hell can both of y'all be so strong and fighting each other? Y'all married. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, and, and the marriage, bro, like I said, this is my best friend, this is my ride or die. I slept Jesus out across for her, if that was a true statement. You get what I'm saying? You can. And <laughs> They basically saying you gotta walk your own path. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's hard because we like if we was into it yesterday, I'd be like, hell, I'm gone. But it ain't like that, so it's, it's like it's hard. That's why you got to go now and the rush because the spirit has been telling me to move my ass like like quick. So I, I, I guess I wanna know should we get a divorce? Or should y'all get a divorce and just be separated and still? Cause neither one of y'all, neither one of y'all looking to get married again. Hell no. Hey, I see that already. Spirit, do y'all do y'all want them to get divorced or just a separation so they can walk their own path and just kick it with each other? Best friend energy. What say you? He says flow of prosperity. He says uh, flow of prosperity. Follow your heart. And he says open your heart to love. So if there's no such thing as divorce between you guys. It's just a separation. You okay. you do your thing. Uh, he do his thing, that energy, but y'all two are for each other. And if y'all and y'all know what comes with separation, ain't nobody crazy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a little entertainment here and there. See, I'm, I got, I, I, I'm at peace with that because of the nature of our relationship already. Right. You know what I'm saying. Uh huh. So I guess uh, that 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 really resonates with me because the finances have been jacked up because we make plenty of money. Right. But once we pay everything, it gets tight. So it's stuff that's that's needed, wanted, or whatever. But yeah, spirit said until we until we apart, then none of that everything is stagnant, like still walking. Yep. Now is that true? Spirit, is it uh, is it that them is it them being together was holding them back? So Man. they're holding the finances back. Spirit said father, husband, brother, son. Spirit said power of joy. And spirit said communication. Uh, yeah, so, so let me tell you what it is. It's not the both of you guys holding each other back. It's you holding the both of you back. Mm -hmm. Now, spirit, how, how am I? Uh, let me tell you, not let me tell you, because I got to break it down, because it'll make it seem like you're a problem. You're not a problem. The thing is, power of joy, father, husband, brother, son, the, the father and the husband energy. And they said the communication. You're a lot to bear. She like you, you can't find your happiness and your joy. So she's taking on the energy. So y'all separate. She can go be free enough in the mind to do her thing. You can be free enough in the mind to find your own happiness. But right now you're laying in the hut too much. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's saying. Power of joy, the father husband card, and the communication. Power of joy. Yeah. I am a warfare. Yep. Like, you know, all of that. Like, I, I hate schedules, all of that. Because I, I, I was on the schedule all the military and truck driving life. So I don't like all of that. I just like to be a free spirit. But I get it, though. Mm -hmm. I get it. Like, we've had those in depth conversations of not being problems and what the problems really are. And, you know, it's just like, golly, it's a lot of things. Yep. But we ain't mad, though. We kick it. We still, you know, we still love us. But, like, spirit say, you know, that's, that's my one right there. And I just left somebody on the cross. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out during the separation how to unslap people. <laughs> uh, the only way, let me, 
way, let me put this in. The only way uh, to figure out the way how to unslap people, man, during the separation is just wait for her to tell you who to slap. How about that? Hey, so right. Especially since I need to come to Florida, I ain't gonna be slapping no slap bitch anyway. That's right. If she don't say, hey, man, get your ass down here and beat Pete Carlton ass, man, you don't go down there. Right, right, With right. no ass. Right. Okay, the adult question that I have to ask period is whether the children will be okay. Spirit. Will the children be okay during this separation and will both of them be able to instill their spirituality that you want to in those kids? Uh, Spirit said peace offering. Look it up. Spirit said energy healing. Spirit said take charge of the situation. Yeah, you get them boys and every now and then and you teach them what you know. She got that girl. She running that girl. And then she flip flopping and reassuring what you did and then you reassure what she did with the girl. Man, you finna make a you finna make a whole spiritual legacy. If every keep in mind, Azuli, Frida, and Azuli Dante, they want the kid. So you finna make your whole family spiritual. And if all y'all on the same that's rare to have everybody on the same accord in the household. That's a movie. Man. Hey, I'm already in a music video. My boy Dantez put me in his music video about two, three uh, years ago. So yeah, I, the next stop is Hollywood. <laughs> hey, we on the way. What'd you say, president? President, well, I, want, I really want to be president of the United States, man. I'm serious about that. Go ahead, put me as VP on with you. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, watch. Yeah, I got a couple they, hey, yeah, I got one or two in the closet. Yeah, yeah we does some off and have the business right now. I love it. All right, look, what, what base say? Sigma and Amazing? Oh, we can do some amazing things. Oh, boy, tell me who it is. And then on top of that, man, we're going to fix all this shit. Yeah, real quick. We're going to fix it all. Right, right. They they talk about chemtrails. I be dropping candles for self love. All hey, all that stuff there. All, all, all these, all these. You sending to teach people how to speak different languages. No, one language: love, hope, and faith. You go. That's yeah. It's a manifestation. Yep. Yeah, everybody gonna have. Everybody gonna have. Boy, it's, I got a dream. I got. I got. I got another one for you, right? Mm-hmm. So, all right. I went recently and got some radio out there from my grandmother and grandfather's grave. I wear it around my neck in a glass little vase, right? Okay. Uh, how should I connect with my grandmother and grandfather's spirit? Uh, spirit, how would you like grandmother and grandfather, how would you like for him to connect on that energy with you? Woo! All right, I hear you. you. Ah, okay, I hear what you're saying. Let me see. No, uh, ah. They said health and healing. They said uh, retreat, in the, uh, health and healing, retreat into nature. And then they said, uh, drink more water. So basically, they just saying they want you to really uh, connect with them by planting. So if you could take their graveyard dirt, uh, go get some more, just enough. And if you could start like a little tree garden, a little small garden somewhere, uh, raise garden bed and put their dirt in there and grow vegetables and fruits and you consume it. Nobody else. You consume what you eat. That's them healing your body. Hey, I'm just telling you what they say, man, out of her spell work like this, but these people showed me plants growing out of the ground, spiraling out of the ground, and that's when she said health and hip. So you grow your weed, your medicinal herbs, whatever it is you need, you the only one can eat it. Not your kids, not your wife, not the neighbor, not me. You grow it, mix it with other dirt, but just know that their essence are in that sand, and they gonna heal your body like that. That's how they wanna connect with you through diet and healing. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I were, I was, I guess I could say I was told and prompted by spirit, and what I kept getting was the army of the dead, like the army mm -hmm. of the dead. Was, like, what does that mean, bro? Uh, if you wanna talk about the army of the dead, then you gotta talk about uh, Baron Sandy, uh, Baron uh, uh, Cemetery, that type of stuff. Uh, all these these dead because like the death loa so uh so let's see what are y'all talking about the army of the dead why is y'all giving him the army of the dead zombies and such they say offer t i mean to offer teach education what is he wh which one of them uh offer t oh 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 hold on i gotta say it right i don't know if y'all ain't trying to trigger no energy what else in persistence so uh you ain't got to answer this if you don't want to, 
but just hear what they're trying to say. If you want to answer, you can. It'd be great for television. But when you was military, did you, did any of your bullets touch people? I said like, yes. huh? Yes, yes. Well, you got the ass, if you could remember the name of them or you could remember the energy of the area, the army of the dead walk with you, you just captured souls, buddy. That's what you did. You, you, you captured those enemies to be utilized at your disposal. They said, offer, teach, educate, Archangel Michael. You know he strike everybody down. That's Ogun energy. And then he said, persistent. So the army of the people of the army of the dead, that your, your energy, your uh, unalived and touch, you can, if you can remember their names or whatever, you can call upon the energy of them people. And boy, you got you a workhorse. Put their ass to work. Bro, the, the scary thing about it is I just had a dream to where I, I was standing somewhere about to go to battle with somebody. And it was dark, and when lightning struck, I looked out, and as far as I could see, it was like dark figures, and they were fighting the battle for me. They took off. The moment I got ready to step toward my problem, they was already on my problem like fire, man. All right. Am I not the best with this shit, man? Yeah, so that would mean that, that would mean that the Baron family would be like... A gi. Yep, you're a gi. A gay day or a gi, depending on where you come from, yes. Uh, yeah, I never did. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, it has to be a conversation offline because you you got a lot of people that will talk about him, but there's there's so many versions of him, and honestly, the name Samdi, people don't even people think it's like Saturday. No, it goes way deeper than than that. And and you know sometimes I Baron say don't tell too many people, so I never say it how it's supposed to be said on camera because that's giving the shit. That's what it gave to me. But you know it ain't just Baron of the Saturday. It's some D. Uh, he it, that name means something. I, I just saw it. They've been already trying to contact me, fam. Right? Your hell, trying to contact you. Hell, you 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 standing in his energy. You got the cemetery. It's three of them so far. La Cross Cemetery and La Criminal. And you ain't trying to hurt nobody. You create the body. You're a war man. So you got cemetery. I was La Cross for so long cutting deals. I was. Look, I was across for so long. He told me I need to become uh, uh, the criminal, and I'm fighting against that. Hey, bro. Bay just, hey, is that why when Bay started uh, working on her little arms, not was trying to figure them out, is that why everything went south? Because you remember, you, you remember you did that reading and we were good. And then shortly after that, Bay started looking into the arms, and then. She got another reading, and it was like, oh, no, nah, that ain't gonna work. Y'all need to get the hell out of somewhere. Right. So then, on the Luwaz, the spiritual reading for the separation. Uh, so uh, to the low, to the low eyes, uh, Baron, speak for him. Are you separating them for your own selfish reason and that type of stuff? You and uh, La Sarin, are you separating them for your own selfish reasons? What what say you? He says positive change. Yeah. They, they need to work with y'all, and y'all can't do it together. If you stressed out, and she stressed out, or you ain't focused. They can't work with you, so y'all each other distraction and each other's peace. So yeah, they doing it for a separate region, positive change. Ah, uh, yeah. Is that it? Is is they removing me because I don't even really want to work with them? Like I hadn't even. Yeah, I hadn't. Yeah, I didn't even really want to know who they were. I just happened today to just step into that field. No, them. no, that ain't why. No, they they know what you about, so they don't care if you want to work with them or not. When they come get you, they come get you. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Your wife just happened to get there first. Dang, bro. Uh, I'm gonna need you, uh, Baron, say to show you that he's serious. Uh, do somebody got a garden or, or like a uh, where you where you live? Do you got some rocks outside, like some bricks laid up a certain way in a design pattern around your house or somewhere in the neighborhood? You know what? I, I just laid some tile on the floor of the house. Okay, you just laid tile. Listen to me good. Did you drop money out your pocket or do you need to take them tiles back and get some refund? Because he says he's going to show you just where he's at. Within a few days, probably a week, you're going to be seeing on the ground. It's going to be some kind of fixed uh, structure, man-made structure, designed, decorated ground 
brick tile, whatever. Do the math, variate. Uh, you gotta find, you gotta find uh, some money down there, just laying on the ground. You gonna be like, what the fuck? And pick it up. He say, that's it. That's letting you know you can deal with him. You can trust him. When you find that money, you can trust him. Like pennies on the ground. Pennies, my ass. He showed me dollar bills. I, I, I will, I will, I will keep my eyes open so I don't miss it. But I'm pretty sure he has it for me. That's right. You gonna it's it's gonna be some kind of ground structure. Tile, you laid tile. I'm looking at like a outside brick design laid around and all that stuff there. But it's gonna be some money on the ground, dollar bills. You're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, maybe it's gonna be in a parking lot next to one of them damn things with your car tie you sit on when you park. Something like that. Okay, okay. I will definitely be, uh, be looking for that one. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, how, how can I ask for a protection? Uh, that's just gonna come natural. Okay. That ain't nothing that, that there's no direct. So don't let nobody tell you. It's a direct method to astral project. And when you, when your inner body say, I need to go and travel to find out something, it's going to do it without you even knowing and caring. It, yeah, it just do it when it want to, but as it do it when it want to, you'll learn the signs and then you can control it. But yeah, it'll happen. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, bro, by being, by being cosmic debt, do you really get rid of generational curses? No. Okay. You paying okay. cosmic debt, you paying your shit. <laughs> You building up your surplus. Generational curses need to be handled on a generational level. Uh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. See, I'm, I'm, boy, I'm so, I'm so deep with it right now. Uh, uh, I got a, a sidebar question. So during this whole separation thing, should my wife continue to talk to other friends that she has, or? Uh, spirit, it will. The friend cause him trouble because I can't get in her business. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. This is gotcha. your reading, so I got to make it loop for you. Okay. Gotcha. Spirit, will the wife's friend cause him any trouble, grief, by messing her over or anything? What's in the best interest of him and his wife's understanding? Spirit said, listen. Spirit said, you are seeing the situation accurately. Spirit said, priority. You know this man is going to be an issue down the line. You, yeah. you know it. He's saying, listen, you see the situation accurate and it's a priority. So have her safeguard herself for the situation. It is what it is. The wheel's in motion. But you know, you can see, without jealousy being involved, you can see that it'll be an issue. Okay. Now, you just said something that, that made me want to ask, period. I've been seeing things before they happen and telling people about their actions before they happen. Is mm -hmm. that one of my spiritual gifts? It is. It's everybody's gift. It just, you just in tune to yours. Uh, everybody can see it. Deja vu a real thing. Precognition is a real thing. You just know it's there. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, bro, this is, this is heavy on my brain. The spirit also told me that I have the power to speak to all spirits. I don't know what the hell that means. Just like me, just like me, Baron, you can speak to all of them. You don't need to be in no spiritual system. We are, everybody on the planet can speak to everybody on the planet, every spirit that ever existed that we ever imagined. It's just a simple fact that we typecast ourselves with different religious organizations and systems and it limits our mindset. That's why you can, that's why, you know, the the, the journey of a thousand uh, miles start with one step. What do you think a thousand miles is? <laughs> that, that, that's, that's included on how we're able to speak to the dead. Yeah, the, the uh -huh. dead. The dead ain't nothing but our memory. Our memory is our imagination because we can't re we we can't relive that memory no more. We can imagine how it was, and dead is the memory, so it's our imagination. A thousand steps. I, I love teaching this type of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I guess my last question, Rick, bro, is a, is a question of, of, of a me and you based conversation. Okay. So what is the nature of our brotherhood going forward? You know we got a mission. You want me to ask spirit that or you personal? I, yeah, I want, I, want, I want spirit to tell us both because I, I think we, I think we run behind time because spirit is rushing me to do everything. <laughs> spirit, spirit, should I, should I mentor him? Is he one that I should mentor and uh, lock it in with him? Spirit said, focus upon your strength. Spirit said, release tension. And spirit said, family. All right. Yeah. Yes, so. Focus. I'm a teacher. Family release tension. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it, man. You, I got one other male student. I'm yeah. with it. He'll be the second. I'm with it, brother. Yeah.
not believe, man. You know, every every time I wanted to get a read from you, bro, something happened. Either my car, my money, my pops being in the hospital, like it was something. So today is one of them days where it's like, yo, it happened. And it happened for a reason. Like I got clarity on everything at this moment in my life that I need. I feel like her. And that van probably gonna stop working too. No, the bitch still on the still still working on number two and everything. This is a magic fan, man. This is magic damn fan. This is working. I, I, I don't know what's wrong. It turned off when we start talking, and I pressed the button and turned it back on. No power cord, no nothing, and it's still working. Yeah, I'm going to leave. Hey, listen, I'm going to let it work until it break, and I'm going to try to turn the power on it, 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 until the engine burn out on the bitch. I don't know what's going on. The energy is here. Oh, man. Oh. oh yeah, you got it, and uh, I'm finna get back to building my rabbit cage. I'm doing three things at one time, but uh, well, you know what I like to say, big bro. If you need to reach me, you know how. Hey, I got you, big bro. I just got. I had to figure out what was holding me back spiritually. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, y'all got it, man. As long as y'all remain friends and y'all keep the conversation going, and you watch her back, you got it, man. Yeah, definitely. Listen, man, this is, it really is affordable here. So don't let nobody scare y'all. I mean, it's people who got 13 cars and they they come down here and they get these crazy little ass jobs and think they're supposed to do it and they want to live big with the Florida lifestyle. Man, I see, I live humble as hell and I'm okay. Yeah, that's me, bro, all day long. You know, that's, that's just who I am as a person. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't have to have the biggest nice as I just want to be comfortable now. Yeah, that's a man. That's a man. You make sure the wife is is is, is pimped out and and nice, and we we can take the basics. I, I can, man, listen. I get fancy every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when when we step out, I, I step out. How do I step out? Man, unless she tell me, you know, why well, you got that on? I go change. But she gotta be, you know, she gotta be where people can look at her, and I can see them looking at her. But y'all can't touch them. You that's right. Oh, yeah. That's that's a man. You old school with it. That's, listen. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm an 80s baby, man. You know, I'm 42. See, I'm four years older than you, man. So, yeah, we, we got the same education. I let, We believe we need to be judged by a woman. So, yeah, if our woman looking good and they're looking at our woman, you know, we good. We ain't jealous or nothing like that, but don't disrespect the bitch because I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you right there. Or what Kevin Gates said, you going to have to live. I don't let that <laughs> That's the old school way, but yeah, I'm happy for you, man. We are gonna rock when you get here. That's a promise. Oh, my wife said before I let you go, bro. Mm -hmm. You have message from me from Yemaya a while back. I did. I, just, I never got it, yeah, because it was talking about Yemaya wanted me to come to her for healing or something. Oh, that that uh, that's probably the La Serena energy, the the mermaid energy that's around y'all. On your wife's side, that type of stuff. But I'm not hearing you my y'all voice right now. Gotcha, so I almost already took care of that on, on my little mission. Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay, okay. All right, big bro. Well, hey, I appreciate it. And we're going to touch bases, you know, about my new family that I just found out with the Baron. Okay, definitely. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to feel right now. Nah, bro, just hurry up and get your ass here so I can have somebody to hang with. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, big bro. All right, now you be good. I do too. All right. Well, y'all heard it from the the spirit's mouth. Everything was said, and his reading was exactly 32, 33 minutes on the call, whatever. But it was worth it. Spirit got him on point. Him and his wife got their thing, and they on point. Both of them strong in the spiritual game, but just that they can't be strong together. They're gonna be stronger together, but separate. Um, that's what they were showing me. But either way, it's gonna work for both of them. Both of them spiritual powerhouses. So probably both of them the same zodiac sign too. Uh, that's wild. And uh, he gonna put in the chat when his video air. He he and all of them. He gonna let you know it's him so y'all can talk to him. His he 
he's getting, he's reading tarot, he's doing the right thing, and he and he's gonna come up and he's gonna be my second uh, student. I got one student already on the tape, and evidently Spirit told me he could be it. So that's that. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling God to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe. on to this reading I done went to the app and mark that you called let me throw some Florida water on my hands oh. no reading? you you said a, a conversation with the Baron no cars right I thought the conversation was with you I'm it I'm I'm not the uh, <laughs> no I'm so sorry you see that's where I got mixed up but go ahead by all means <laughs> oh so no 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 if you just want to conversate then conversate I normally pull cards on it in case you have questions no, no, so, I don't, the last time I spoke to the Baron, I got my butt hooked up good. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. What the Baron, so what the hell the Baron said then? Uh, basically, I was told that I was cold and that, um, that, um, basically, yeah, rigid and I was cold. And I was like, wow, okay. You That's what I get, but. You know um, now. Yeah, but I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to a spiritual element. I'm, this is what's weird about me. I, it's almost like I have two different um, personas that I carry around with me. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes when um, you're, I, well, I'm going to talk to you blatantly. When your spirit form takes over and it's from a spirit to spirit, it's a whole different personality. Right. It's a whole different being. And I don't want her to give, talking to anybody for me right now. <laughs> I, want, I want me to be talking to you because you're the warm version of the story. You're the guy that cares. You're the guy that's compassionate. Oh. You're the one who takes an interest in people's heart. And it's not necessarily about, you know, just talking about how can we solve an issue. But if I, I'd much rather talk to the human aspect of who you are, if you don't mind. I like that. Uh, okay, then I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> oh, I just had to. I just had to go and mark. I had to go change something. Now. But yeah, that's really cool. Whew. That's really cool because everybody needs somebody to talk to. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, what really attracted me to your videos is seeing that version of you, especially when you ask the question. Um, I think it was that, that was the video that inspired me to actually book a, um, a conversation with you. What's the one where you talk, when you ask us whether or not we believe that you were phony? Right. Did you come off as, you know, saying, uh, just trying to sell, you know, your product and not being a genuine human being? Uh huh. And I, was, I was like, you know what? This person I like because not too many people care about whether or not you see them for the truth. You know, they just sell you something and then, you know, they take your money and then they walk away. But at least I know that you have integrity in what you do. You know, you're not just about collecting money, you're about making a difference. Yeah, it's a lot of phony ass people out there in the world, man. And, and I'm, I'm dealing with that right now. I'm dealing with a lot of phony baloney people and I'm fixing their problems. It's a lot of phony readers out there. And there's a lot of people that think they know about spirituality when they don't. And they be giving people wrong spells or the spell that's not fit for them. And they put it out there. Everybody can put it in, put everybody in a pot. Everybody can be as nasty as you want to be because you know spirituality. And it don't work like that. No. So. And I like to believe everybody should. If you go and enter spirituality, you enter it for the right reasons. It's because you have a heart and you understand the hardships uh, that the hardships that we all face as human beings and we're all here to help each other elevate and not sit there and take advantage of one another at least i like to think so and that's what's going on too many people taking advantage uh again a lot of people taking advantage man i'm like wow and yeah. they'll take advantage to the extreme point and then when you say nah no more then they they sit up there and talk nasty about your other people's channel. I'm talking to me personally. Or that as soon as you stay your ground and you don't give them what they want, they'll talk real disgusting about you. They'll go and form other clicks and other people's channels about you and things like that. And now it's like, okay, now you the bad guy because you told them where to get off at, how to straighten up, and you weren't gonna take it. And but then when you say, hey, you did that wrong, and then 
all, all jokes aside, for somebody, so when, so you talk to somebody and you get real intimate with that person. You let that person into your life. You let that person into your circle, your house. You let them see how you live and who you are, the problems you got. As soon as those things get fixed, I've learned that people tend to hate the spiritualist for helping them fix their situation because they basically say, oh, he know my dark side or he or she know my energy. And it's like, I'm gonna dog him out, treat him bad, talk him down. So in case he say anything about me or she say anything about me, we can, you know, dismiss it as they just hate him. And I'm saying, and it's, and it's sad it has to be like that. I always say this much is true. You only can learn through experience and it only can build you for the better. You either choose to make it make you a better person or you can choose to make it a, a source of your destruction. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's the only one way we'll ever learn is go through the process. Oh yeah. I've been I, I like going through the process. I'm not even gonna front. I <laughs> I remember when I when I beat all my demons. This is before I start healing the feminine energy or, you know, holding the feminine energy accountable uh, uh i remember right before i started doing that and this is years ago i had been taken up and through that by so many people i thought loved me and that i love i help people fix people problems let them drive my car let them stay at my house on my couch fed them clothed them money them and then to then to have somebody betray me and this ain't spiritual stuff, this is just real life. To have somebody steal from me, to have somebody, you know, lie on me. It broke me to the point where I, and I wanted to hurt them, so I just told Spirit, hey, what else you got? <laughs> I say, you done, you done turned me into a little savage of a person. I have to guard my heart, my mind. I say, what else you gonna throw at me? And, for, and when I said that, for two years, Spirit, destruction, death, everything through, everything but the kitchen sink at my ass. And I overcame it. That's why I could be positive now. Oh, wow. You see? But you had to go through that process to become who you are now. Oh yeah, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't sexy at all. No, it never is. It never is. <laughs> but you got through it. And now you're better for it. But I wanted to also address one more thing with you mm -hmm. before we, um, we have to part. I, I have, I'm listening to your stories. I'm astonished by your stories, especially um, the ones dealing with your grandmother. Mm -hmm. I love those stories. Thank but you. I have to say, those stories make me think about my grandmother in a lot of ways because there was a lot of old, I'm not going to, I don't want to call it magic, but there was a lot of spiritual activities and things that she was knowledgeable of. Mm -hmm. that, you know, I don't have any kind of um, access to because it's been lost through her. But um, but it just reminds me of just uh, the idea of having an earth angel because exactly. her grandmother was so strong that she didn't just, was a, um, was a beacon for her family. She was a beacon for a whole community. Yeah. And that, I thought that was astonishing because that within itself shows that Angels on Earth are real, and it makes me think that maybe you <laughs> may be an element. <laughs> I, I, I can see myself as an elemental. Surprisingly, I'm not a I'm a Leo, and I'm not a fire elemental. I'm a fucking Earth elemental, believe it or not. Right. I'm grounding people, but I love telling those stories with Grandma. But my family don't. My family hear them, and they were like. My aunties and uncles, they were like, oh, you making mama look like she was just a devil worshiping witch lady. I say, I say, no, that you saying that out of love and fear. I say, but grandma gone. She helped a lot of people. I say, y'all should be celebrating that woman. Oh, no, I don't like them stories. You need to take them down. I'm not taking nothing down because I'm helping my grandmama live again. I bet she's in heaven laughing saying, they think, I'm, they think that was funny. That's just the way I am. You know, it, 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 it's a, being African, Native American, indigenous, whoever we, they trying to make us at this point in the game. Uh, they used to pass down stories from their ancestors. That oral right. tradition, how, how do we know our, our uncle Bob, our uncle Chuck could walk in a bar and whoop three niggas asses? Because grandmama them told us, and when we see Uncle Bob send his ass up there in his wheelchair all old and decrepit, 
we didn't see an old decrepit man. We saw a dude that was whooping ass in a wheelchair in a bar. <laughs> right or wrong? Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, but this is how I teach my kids. And I say, listen, I remember your, your uncle boy, that, that motherfucker could draw left-handed and right-handed. He could look at something and three weeks later draw it to the teeth from the color in the scratch. I don't know how he lost it. So when they look at my brother, they don't see a man that been in prison for 14 years. They see a, a artist. And these are the these are how legends are made in the black community, I feel. So if I can help you celebrate my grandmother and give you essence of your grandmother, your auntie, and you can say, damn, she sound like my grandma. Now you can imprint that image because she was your grandma. Your grandma was doing stuff you didn't know she was doing for people. You didn't know who she had secret meetings with. But it's, it's a nice reminder, those, those, and especially know that you guys uh, came from the Barbados, right? Mm -hmm. Was it? That it, it, it kind of uh, makes it even all the more familiar for me because we come from Haiti. Yes. And so it's like, okay, now I can see how, you know, a lot of these things are so familiar to me because of the, you know, of the roots of where we come from. Yeah. Because regardless of where island you come from, there are a lot of things that we have in common. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but that was just a nice background, just to, and I love listening to the stories because a lot of times, you know, I was playing the sidekick without even knowing I was the sidekick. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got to think. Now, I'm, uh, again, my culture not Haitian, and my uh, junction spirit is a Haitian loa, and I don't speak no Creole, I'm not Haitian or nothing, but you got to think. I be seeing a lot of these Haitian grandmamas, and they'll have them kids sitting on the porch, and they'll walk them kids around the neighborhood, and they'll and they'll be picking up leaves off of the uh, that grows on the on the fences and grows on the, uh -huh. on, the uh -huh. on the on the on the on the wooden wall. I don't know what they're picking up, but I pay attention. What are they gonna do with that? Is it gonna be used for root magic or is it gonna be used for a tea or a tincture? Oh. Okay. Okay. So and I, I I don't add to what's going on, but it's it's a Haitian couple and her and her girlfriends, three of them. They'll go for a walk in the morning and on their way home, they'll be picking up little dandelions out the ground. They'll be cutting down little, little stuff off of the fences and stuff. And all three of them put that in their little bag and they walk on down the road. What they do with it, I don't know, but I'll be out there every morning to wave at them. I don't, again, I don't speak Creole, I don't know their name. I just be out there standing on the porch when they do it. I, be, I wave like I'm the happiest person in the world to see them. That, thing, that makes them feel good. <laughs> my grandma did that all the time and I never could understand as to why she did it but she had a purpose behind it and yeah. I was always embarrassed as a teenager because I was like let's just stop it <laughs> but yeah I don't, she had her reason. <laughs> I don't know what grows on that fence I know they, they pick they talk about it cackle at it and they've been doing it for years and uh -huh. they'll, they'll point it out they Walk back, they get their bag, they put that in there, and they keep on walking and talking. Yep. So. But it's funny because a lot of times um, what my mom used to do is she used to do the same thing, but it's she, because she had a green thumb, mm -hmm. and if she liked the plant, she would grow the plant. She would pluck it, and then in the backyard, you would see it all designed with all the variations that she collected throughout the time. Yeah. And that's what she did with hers. Grandma, on the other hand, I never knew what, what she did with it because I never see her grow anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> she didn't need to grow. She knew it was from the earth. The old people know what it is. Now we got to read a book, book of lost remedies and to find out what a plant is. Exactly. And, exactly. That, and that's what I said I was going to start knowing. I told my daughter, I hope she do it too. I was going to go to that book and just write it because in Florida we got a real tropical climate. I was gonna go and start getting some of those flowers in the in the rainforest and shit where we got down here, Bear Glaze in South Florida, and I was gonna just start harnessing those weeds and vacuum sealing them in a jar and just keeping them around vacuum seal. And I don't know what made me think about that. I just said, let me vacuum seal some of this stuff because I got a you know canning process of vacuum sealer. What if I just put something in the jar, take the air out of it, and just never open it forever until we need it? 
Yeah, you never know. You could save a whole community just by doing that. Yeah. Because we do need to start thinking about, you know, taking in these seeds and taking these plants and saving them because we don't know how things are going to turn. And then again, it's not so much as the seeds because a lot of the fruits and vegetables are, uh, are being grown without seeds. But why can't we be smart and take the actual plant, the actual fruit, freeze dry it, because the chemical property is still there, we just can't grow no more. Yeah, like, let's freeze dry it. Let's do what we gotta do. Save some acorn, save some watermelon seed, save something. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, but, we, but it is something that we do have to strongly consider, especially how things are going these days. Yeah, I look at all that stuff, man. I be like, hmm. I can do this, I can do that. And just, so I went and bought some more jars and again, I'm gonna, on my trip, if I drive somewhere and I see some strange looking weeds or some strange looking fruit, I'm gonna stuff them bitches in a jar, uncut, unshredded, uh, and just suck the air out that damn thing and sit it in the, uh, in the room. Okay, sounds like a plant. <laughs> yeah, you never know, you looking down on, oh, it was a missing plant. And I'm gonna tell my kids, keep that plant. Even when I die, don't open it. Oh, the, the world could have been saved from the poop cotoco plant. And be like, that seemed like the plant daddy got stuffed away in this bin. They go searching for the poop taco plant and that bitch just saved the world. You know how much money that'll be? Millions of dollars. Cause you finna come up with a cure to save the world with this one plant. <laughs> It helps if you grew it too, you know. <laughs> I, I, I listen. I try to grow. My green thumb is shit. No matter how much I water it, fertilize it, I just can't grow. But I, uh, another soul tribe member, she is like poison ivy on that thing. She talked to them plants. Ah, because she has a relationship with them. Yeah, she in the garden. She talked to the little snake-looking lizard and shit. Got him a name. I don't fuck with none of that stuff. You see, that's the, <laughs> maybe that's something that you have to consider is talking to the earth. <laughs> Listen, I talked to the earth, the snake gonna come out and sit beside me. Yeah, man, I heard what you were saying and I'm gonna run from it. Get the fuck out of here, snake man. Oh boy, that's the wrong place to live in Florida as far as reptiles are concerned. They don't come in my yard. I seen one, I set them on fire, but then I seen a couple more. And now I'm cool with them. They just hang around and watch me and leave. So I think okay. somebody's sending familiars at me to spy on because when I see them, I just see a big giant eye looking at me. But oh. then it don't be the snake head. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm t I mean, that, I be going, my little house is a little vortex crazy place. Well, you are vortex within yourself, sir. <laughs> I thought, like, I think you brought the elements to, to your place. I had to, again, I don't know why they chose me like this, but hey. Hey, yeah, but that's what makes you genuinely who you are, and honestly, to tell you, it's gonna benefit a lot of us, because it seems like you're spreading in ways and places that probably you would never have imagined, but only time can tell. Yeah, yeah, only time can tell. I'm I'm just grateful that he's giving me life. That's my whole big thing. Well, you in essence are giving us new life too through your stories and it's greatly appreciated i'm i'm so glad i just i i really want to help i really want to help everybody live on but then again i really want the fame that comes with it too well not the fame more so the admiration i would love for people to share it and really like it but you'll be surprised how many i get an algorithm check every month and out of a month 64 people have shared the entire month and I'm like okay and then probably like 300 have liked and I'm like okay but everybody say they love them I mean you should like them and share them man I mean but you know what we have to use our talents and resources the best way we know how but at this end of the day how it's going to spread and, and how it's going to go about we never know we're mm -hmm. just going to have to be patient with the process but in the meantime just be the genuine and amazing person that you are keep doing the wonderful thing that you oh, do yeah. because you don't know how it's going to pay out. You don't know how it's going to pay off, but you're going to get your what's due to you in, in, in time. You're not leaving here without it. Trust. You're not going to leave here without it. So, you know, just keep doing what you do, because honestly, the, I, your videos and your stories is what encourages me in many ways. Put a smile on my face and keep me going in, in certain areas. 
that, you know, that I had struggled with. But it's good to know that I'm not the only one. And it's been a blessing talking to you as a genuine person because it just reaffirms the, the, the light that you do share. I appreciate that. I try to be real genuine because I do understand, man, everybody is phonies nowadays and people need genuine connection, even if I'm wrong. It's a genuine wrongness, I, I assume. Barry, no, no, no that, what you thinking is wrong. That shit ain't how it happened. That ain't what it's supposed to. And I'll take that and say, you know what, you're right. I'm finna Google that. I'm finna make sure I'm, I'm saying, and I like somebody holding me accountable. And I, I just don't like nobody really like, oh yeah, nah, you piece of shit, you this, you that. Okay, now I'm getting upset. Cause, and, I be, and I have been blocking people from the channel who's been disrespectful in the comments. Yeah, you do what you do to keep your peace. That's what's most important in all of this. But don't let that deter you from being the awesome person that you are. Because honestly, your life shines beyond the characteristics that you portray. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. You shine beyond what, what you even imagine, what you even imagine. I And I agree, because the day at that courthouse, that sister treated me real nice. Like I was, like I was just a really great person. They, she saw me as human. And she didn't call me, you know, by my real name. She called me the Baron, and she like, you really are a good guy. That really made me feel good. Well, take that with you. I know that 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 is something that you it reflects in every way, shape, or form that you take on. That that spirit of you really it, it makes a profound difference in the rest of us. No matter how small of a crowd we are, <laughs> it makes a huge difference for us. That's true. I appreciate that. But well, yeah. I know my 30 minutes are up. I don't want to hold you too long. I hope to speak to you sometime soon when I save up the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, take your listen, take your time. I'm gonna be here. Uh, when I say I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here. Yes. <laughs> I, I'll be nice. Uh, I know I'll be talking shit in the comments, making people laugh, getting the reactions out of people. No problem. We enjoy that too. You have a good one, okay? All right, you too. <laughs> wow. Uh, people, this is the only sister that has done the conversation with the Baron the proper way. She didn't come in asking any questions. She corrected me. I thought I had to, I thought I was going to have to say, hey, you just talk to me. You want to talk and just have a good time, free your mind, talk about anything a genuine connection. That's what that reading, the conversation with the Baron is about. Having a genuine conversation with somebody that's real and honest, being vulnerable, and she did it perfectly. And I can't thank her enough for that. Got me feeling real good. I'll leave it right there. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys I trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.